Braves hosted the Nationals. The Nationals are plus 146 on the money line. The Braves are minus 174. The over under eight and a half runs. The Nationals getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 142, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And then Braves laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 118, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two runs or more. These are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. It's supposed to be 84 degrees with six mile an hour winds blowing in and no rain. Irvin has pitched twice against the Braves this year. Both games, exact same stat line, just different scores. Six innings, no runs, no earn. They won 2 1. He struck out four. Six innings, no runs, no earn. They lost 2 nothing. That was in Atlanta. He struck out 10. For Morton, he's pitched twice against the Nationals this year. Five innings, five runs, four of which were earned. They lost 7 3. That was in DC. He struck out three. Five and two-thirds, eight runs, eight earned. They lost eight-four. He struck out seven. Head-to-head, -head, the Nationals are seven and three. The home team's on a four-game winning streak. The home team is five and five. The underdog is seven and three on the money line, and the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is eight and two. There have been three one-run games in their last ten, including the game that they played against each other today, which ended in extra innings. The over-under is five and five, and the over-under at eight and a half runs is five and five. And for whatever the hell the reason is, the Nationals have not confirmed their pitcher, so in Irvin's last 10 starts, they've won his last two. Five and two-thirds innings pitched, 4.6 strikeouts, 17.7 outs recorded, 5.8 hits, 1.5 walks, 3.3 runs, 3.2 of which were earned, 1.5 home runs. He's given up home runs in three consecutive starts. He gave up three home runs in his last start, one home run in the start before that, and three home runs in the start before that. 97.5 pitches per game, 16.9 pitches per inning. When we flip it over to the Braves, they haven't confirmed their starter as of yet either, which is always fun. So in Morton's last 10 starts, the Braves have won his last two. Five innings pitched, 5.1 strikeouts, 15.7 outs recorded, 5.2 hits, 1.6 walks, 3.3 runs, 2.8 of which were earned. His earned runs have come down over his last handful of games. He did get shelled by the Brewers. Uh, 1.3 home runs, 90.4 pitches per game, and 18.3 pitches per inning. The Nationals are 4-6 and six in their last 10, 2-2 two two in their last 4. 4 runs, 7 runs, 11 runs, and then 5 runs. 1 run and a loss, 6 runs and a win, 8 runs and a win, and then 2 runs and a loss. And for the Braves, four and one, uh, 5 and 1 in their last 6. 4 runs, 5 runs, 5 runs, 5 runs. The last 3 games that the Braves have played have ended 3-2. Three runs and a win, two runs and a loss, three runs and a win, three runs and a win. And ironically enough, the last four games that they've won, they've only scored three runs. I'm going to take a shot in this one and take the Nationals because Irvin's pitched well against the Braves and the Nationals play well against the Braves. Nationals with the money line, Nationals getting the runs. Everything tells me I'm going to go under in this one just because the Braves really aren't scoring. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.